Hi everyone, I know it's been a little while since I've done a video. I um, actually was in Europe for a few weeks and I just got back. Um, so with that being said, this video is going to be on getting back on track after going on a vacation. Now granted, on my trip, I did still go to the gym. I was on a cruise for part of it. And when I was on the cruise, they had a very nice gym and overlooked the water and it was kind of, you know, it was relaxing. It did get pretty busy in there. So sometimes I'd go on the deck and do lunges and things along those lines. But when it comes to the food, it's really, really hard to um, stay on track on vacation, especially because I was in places like I was in Russia. So I was like, well, I have to, you know, try proshki and I've got to, you know, I got to sip a little vodka, even though I don't like it, but I have to try it because I'm in Russia. And then, you know, I, I had to try some of their foods. And then I was in, um, you know, a bunch of Scandinavian countries and they have amazing pastries. And so I, you know, when I was in Denmark, I was like, well, I have to have a Danish and, you know, things like that. So I ate a lot of potatoes too, because potatoes are really big out there. So it was like carb central. So now my video is how to get back on track and keep goals after you get involved in all this great food and it's really hard to want to get back on track because it was so good and now you're like oh great spinach and tofu and you know egg whites with maybe a little tomato if I'm lucky so um what I did was I wrote up a training thing for myself to keep myself on track I'm pretty good at going to the gym and knowing what I need to do but I felt like by writing it down just like my diet I follow it a little bit better and to really get myself back on track because I have gained 10 pounds, which realistically isn't that much because, you know, a gallon of water weighs about eight and I did deplete my water. So, and my body stays comfortable, healthy. I can eat pretty much whatever I want or, and get, I'll be 125. I'm at 120 now. So I know I could get up to that 125 really easy. So I need to start getting back on track um, now. I am going to do a show on November 14th. It's a national qualifier. So I want to make sure I keep my qualification because you never know what I'm going to want to do next year. Um, I'm probably going to keep the same swimsuit because I spent a lot of money on it and I had the adjustments done on the sides. So I'm going to keep that and then probably next season I'll get a new suit and I'm trying to decide if I want to go with black with some colors, um, stones, or if I want to do pink. I know pink is so like what blondes do, but I've seen some really pretty ones so I'm not sure if I want to go down that road. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down my workout listed below so you know what I'm going to do. Um, and I'm going to do a video a week trying to stay organized here, um, a video a week um, telling you what I'm doing up until my next show. So week one, I'm, I'm upping my sets. I was doing um, three sets of 12. I'm gonna try four sets of 10 and see how that goes. Um, just it keeps it fresh and a little different. Um, so um, what I'm gonna do for week one for my leg day um, is I'm going to, I'm going to try and do, um, back and shoulder together. I wrote some chest workouts. I'm not probably going to do too many of those, but I wanted to do some chest workouts to put on the video for any girls that might be watching this that are figure because you're going to need more chest workouts for figure. So I did put that on my notes, but I'm probably not going to do that much of that. And I also did a whole thing on programs for cardio too. So I'm going to switch up the cardio programs too. So this week I'm going to do four sets of 10 of all of these. I'm going to do leg extensions, leg curls, stationary weighted lunges, sissy squats, or you can call them um, curl bar squats, whatever you like to prefer. Um, I'm going to do lateral skip swat squats. And I will also write down below the what the definition for these are because some of the newer people might not know what some of these terms are. I'm going to do straight legged deadlifts, which I hate, but I need to work on those because it's really good for the back of the thighs and all that. Um, walking lunges. I actually really like doing those. Um, for back, I'm going to do full range rows, two-handed squatted rows, bent over pull down rows, um, squat thrust deadlifts, and one arm dumbbell rows. And then I'm going to do the uh, pull downs from the uh, cables. Um, and then for shoulders, I do 
a little bit of shoulders, not too much, because now with the bikini division, they don't even want you to move your hair anymore. So I still do them because obviously they can tell if this looks all flabby and stuff. Um, but I'm gonna do some lateral raises, some upright rows, lateral combo. Um, I'm gonna do some bent over rear lateral raises. Um, up up backs and then a front press i'm also gonna do um i didn't put this on my arms um but and that's my next thing is i like to do uh tricep dips um i didn't put that on there i always just do those like that's really not something i ever put in my workout plan i just kind of do them i start with them um so for my um for my arms i'm gonna really concentrate on the triceps the first week. So I'm gonna do some skull crushers, like I said, some dips. I'm gonna do the cable tricep pulls. I'm also gonna do the machine where you um, push down. I don't even know the name of that machine, but it's the tricep machine. I'm gonna use that. I don't, I don't know if anybody else has this problem, but the bicep curl machine and the tricep one, I can't do because I'm too short. Um, there's like one that I can do, but all the rest I'm like leaning and it just doesn't, it doesn't get the muscle that it's supposed to get. So I don't really do those. Occasionally I'll do them with my husband because they work for him. But for me, it's almost completely pointless, but I'll, I'll go in with his set if he wants to do them um so i pretty much just stick to that sort of thing i'm also going to do um four sets of 10 push-ups um and then um for the chest you know i'm just gonna you know kind of play that by ear and see how everything's coming but i will write down um some chest workouts below here um if you're in figure it's these are what all the figure girls that i know have been doing for their chest so i put it down there in case i need it and then also for everybody else um and you know i'm gonna do uh for my let or my arms i'm gonna do um some uh hanging leg raises and hammer um curls too so I've got a bunch of stuff I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try that four sets of 10. I know a lot of the um, figure and physique girls will do sets of 15. Um, I was doing that for a while, three sets. I don't know if I could do four sets of 15. I guess it depends on the weight. Um, and everybody's weight is different. And I've noticed that some people get really good results with really low weights. Right now I'm lifting pretty heavy um, because I've been eating a lot. So... I have the energy, but I didn't overdo it like I did that one time when I got myself sick. Um, but I still am doing pretty heavy weights and then I slowly taper off. Let's just put it this way. What I did the day before my national show, what I normally did on my leg press machine, one leg, what I normally did for one leg was what I was doing for two the day before the show. That's how depleted I was. I was... I was like, I cannot believe I'm doing what I do for one leg for two, and it felt hard. So um, it slowly tapers off, but right now I'm going pretty heavy, and I'm doing the four sets. I might um, go down to three sets as I get close to the show, but that's what I'm doing this week. I'll put down what I'm going to do. I'm also, I also will put down what I'm eating. I'm back on my six-week out diet, so I'm getting a lot of spinach. I'm still getting eggs. I'm also getting a little bit of tofu and um, some carbohydrates. On Wednesday mornings, I get bread, which is pretty cool. Um, and then I have some cardio programs here, and I'm going to just switch them up. I wrote, I did 25 different cardio programs, and I wrote them down. And what I'm going to do is every day I'm just going to kind of like pick one and kind of go from there because I was getting really, really stagnant on my cardio stuff. So, and I have it broken down in intervals. Like I have a, for instance, I'll write these down. I don't want to like talk your ear off about these, but for instance, I have one where you start out at a sprint on the treadmill. So, you know, whatever your sprint is, everybody's a little bit different, but what you do is you go at the fastest you can run on the treadmill for two minutes. Then for a minute, you jump off the treadmill and you do regular squats, okay? You don't have to do them weighted. You can if you want to add a little bit, but just regular squats and you do them for a minute and you time it on your treadmill. So you look at your treadmill and go, okay, one minute squats. People look at you a little weird, but you know what? If you're getting the results, who cares if they look at you weird? You jump off the treadmill every two minutes. People start to look at you a little weird, but you do your squats on the back, get back on, um, run one down or if you don't go as fast you can go down a half 
So let's say you're running at a 12, you could go down to uh, 11. But if you're at, if you start at a 10, go down to like 9.5 and so on. Then you run again for two minutes. Then you get off and you do lunges, okay? With the right leg, just do lunges for a whole minute, okay? Then you get back on, same thing, lower it down, then do lunges on the left leg for a minute, then get back on, then you run, then you do backward um, lunges, so you'll step back, so come up and back, okay? With You can start with whichever leg you want, really. Um, and then, then you run, then you do that again. Then you start back over with just your regular squats until you're down to walking, all right? And once you get down to walking, you can walk as long as you want, walk it out. But that's one of them for an example. And I have a row one on here and I have some elliptical stuff, but I also have just stuff you can do like calisthenics um, without a machine if you're doing it at home. So I'm gonna write the, cause right now I'm, I'm doing, I think 24, two and 10 this week. And then I'm gonna switch and do different ones next week. So I'll write down the cardios that I'm doing this week down in the comment area below the video. And I'll also walk, write down my week of um, leg day, arm day, chest if you choose to. Um, so I'm going to put all that down. I will also put down my food for this. Um, for I won't do a whole week. I'll just do today because if I tried to do a whole week, that's just a, a lot. But it'll give you an idea of kind of what you know, my macros and things are at, um, I'm still getting carbs. So it's pretty, pretty good. Um, and then we'll see how it goes. This competition is going to be rough for me, I think because of my vacation, but I feel like I'm getting back on track and I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I'm going to do some other videos, uh, at least one a week with what I'm doing for my lifting. Um, I'm also going to do a, um, Thing about hair extensions and competing because no matter what your hair looks like a lot of people use them so I was gonna go through how to get them cheap because some people will spend a few hundred dollars on them and you don't need to do that you can make them yourself so I'm gonna go through that and then I'm also going to do some frequently asked questions about um, water vitamins that sort of thing so um, but for today I'm just gonna put all that below and if you have any questions about other cardios if some of those might be hard on the knees or something you don't want to do just let me know and I'm gonna throw in because it's been since I've got home it has been nasty weather here so I'm gonna throw in a nice little rain video of my farm at the end just to change it up a bit but I will see you at least once a week Bye.